We're here with two of the talents from the senior category in Champions of the Future with Gabriel Gomez of CRG and Ian Eichmanns of EGP Racing. Firstly to you, Gabriel, good to see you back here again. Off to Christianstad, a very different circuit compared to what we saw at Portimao and Zuera. How are you finding it so far? And Ian, this is not your first time driving on this particular circuit, but certainly in the OK category, it's your first time. So how have you found the challenges of the weekend so far? Uh, it's quite difficult track in OK. It's uh, really, uh, yeah, you have to drive really calm here and uh, yeah, try to protect the tires as much as you can. But although it's fun here, this track. So the two of you have come into the OK category of Champions of the Future this season from very different perspectives. Uh, Gabriel, you're coming in for the first time in OK this season, having been racing mainly in Brazil and in North America. To come into the European category this year in Champions of the Future, how have you found the level of competition? And uh, there is a lot of drivers coming to every race and that help everybody to get better all the time. And uh, of course we are happy to be in Sweden to race because that gives us not any definite advantage, but of course it's easier for us here and also for our our Scandinavian drivers have been here more to race when they were young, so we have... And Ian, you've of course stepped up this year from the junior category into the senior, still one of the youngest drivers in the OK category, so how difficult has the transition been to step up to the seniors? Yeah, it's quite a bit different because, uh, as Gabriel said, um, it's a close, uh, yeah, close pack, uh, and in junior it's uh, quite a big gap sometimes, so yeah, it's, this is the only uh, big difference to the junior. Well, both of you have made a very strong start to the Champions of the Future category. Uh, Gabriel, in particular, the first two races, and certainly back in the Winter Cup at French Quarter, you came out of the blocks fighting in the top five for most of the weekend. Are you surprised by how quickly you and CRG have been able to get straight to the front, or is this something that you guys have been working on in the off-season? Uh, then I've been mechanicing for some years. I wanted to take it to the next step. So uh, yeah, I did, uh, took the step and... Uh, yeah, I have a dream of becoming a, a big team. And Ian, again, you've come straight into the OK Senior category and are already mixing it in the top five. But you have a fantastic crew behind you with the EGP Racing Team, with a lot of history behind it as well. So I guess that level of expertise has really given you that push forward to make progress. Yeah, it has uh, definitely. The, um, my dad also with experience with the engines. Also now we work a bit together with Wart to uh, yeah, have a bit uh, yeah comparison with other drivers because before I was alone, that was a bit more difficult and now we are working a bit together with Wart and it's uh, make life a bit more easy. Well, we've spoken to a lot of the teams and drivers. They talk about how much they like racing in Champions of the Future, how it's a, a, a very relaxed and very exciting weekend. Gabriel, from your perspective, what is it like to be in the paddock trying to fight for victory in Champions of the Future? And, uh, and uh, that is, uh, I think, the advantage here. We have 200 drivers every single week and on any race what we make. And uh, we have 200 drivers in South and 200 drivers near Stockholm that race in the same weekend. So that means that we have between two and four or 500 drivers that can be out in one week. And Ian, obviously from your side, you have a lot of drivers that you enjoy racing against and a lot of uh, friends within the paddock as well. It's very laid back and exciting. So it must be really enjoyable from your perspective to race at this level. Yeah, it's uh, really enjoyable, but uh, when we are on the track, we're like uh, rivals, and then off the track, we are friends, so this is how it works, but yeah, it's fun. You wouldn't be referring to Gabriel when you're talking about that, would you? No. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, you two have actually kept it very clean all season, despite how close you have fought, and you have fought with each other a couple of times already in the start of the season. What is the guy sitting next to you like to go wheel to wheel with? driver sometimes, he won't fast. <laughs> When I started racing many years ago, it, yeah, but karting was big. Then it sort of got smaller and uh, got a bit out of our hands, like Jorkin said. What, uh, what is uh, Gabriel like to go wheel to wheel with? He's obviously very hardened, but very fair. What, what's he like when you're in the middle of the battle? Yeah, it's uh, fun to battle with him. Uh, sometimes we touch a bit wheels, but this is racing. And uh, yeah, it's fun to battle with him. 
Now, obviously, both of you are working incredibly hard to get one of the trophies behind you to take home on the flight when you go off uh, to the next event. But this is obviously very, very hard work on a circuit like this when the weather's going to be changing, possibly session to session, never mind day to day. So how are you guys adapting to the challenges that the weekend are going to prepare you for? You are practically out of ta lap time. And uh, I think that is just the knowledge about being on the right place at the right time to be able to be to be making the the lap time what you need to be in a good position for the for and the ian race. obviously you've got a great team behind you you've got a lot of uh, data to carry from your time here previously so just what are the tasks ahead that you guys are going to be working the most on heading into the finals um we test we will test a lot during the heats um during the warm-up uh yeah and then we will see in the final what is the best and then we put this on so a good chance we're likely to see both of you on the podium on Sunday? It's I much hope. more <laughs> sensitive here than any other place. <laughs>